Hi, and welcome to the Cycle Headless Development Training Series. In this series, we're going to have a look at how we can use ASP.NET Core with the new Cycle Headless Development coming out with Cycle 10. Our agenda for this is we're going to discuss an introduction, which is what we're talking about now, talking about what we're going to actually show over the course of this training series, creating your first ASP.NET Core uh, application using JSS and using SXA JSS. And this, I think, is an important topic because it's actually not supported out of the box. However, it's really easy to configure SXA JSS to work with ASP.NET Core. Then we're going to look at how to create the actual layout host, creating the header and footer partial designs, creating custom components with rendering variants or with the same concept where we have different variants for the same component, creating news listing, creating news details page, using GraphQL. And in series number nine, we're going to have a look at creating a search results page using Blazor and GraphQL. Blazor is a really interesting topic. If you haven't heard about it, it's something that I think has a great potential and we're going to see why when we start showing these capabilities. And finally, we're going to talk about tracking and personalization. So first, what is Sitecore Headless Development? It's really utilizing the layout service, which comes with Sitecore JSS and with the front end frameworks and the headless concepts of Sitecore. It's utilizing the same layout service to enable an ASP.NET Core rendering host. So a visitor can actually hit the rendering host, which in turn talks to the layout service to provide the correct content and then renders it. So in our training series, we're going to create this home page, which has like a logo and navigation at the top, a promo, and then list with rendering variants or like a list where the user can switch the rendering variant for. Then we're going to have a news listing page and a news article page. Let's start with a demo. So I want to show you what we want to accomplish at the end. So this is ultimately how the HTML of it looks like. Uh, which is going to be like, this is, I took the MVP site and I just changed its content to be Duzen, which is our website. So Duzen.ai is actually, looks quite different, but I just wanted to keep things simple and focus on the capabilities. So that's why I use that. So I don't have to go through creating the CSS and so on. And finally, I'm going to actually show you the live working version. So this is a live version. We're going to go through this bit by bit throughout our training series. So you can see here we have a promo, an announcement, uh, a listing, as well as we have this news listing page which shows uh, news items. And then you can click on one to see the news details for it. We have another one which is a GraphQL version. So this is actually retrieving through GraphQL and utilizes Blazor. So we can have this live filtering that's actually server side filtering, not client side, but you can see how responsive it is. We're gonna talk about Blazor server and how we can integrate it with things like Microsoft Graph to be able to get things like, for example, here I'm logged in as Megan. And so it's retrieving all the emails that Megan has. So sit tight and hopefully you're going to enjoy this series with me.